Hey, Snyder Crusaders, welcome back to our special, the United States of Soros. One fifth of all Americans have a George Soros funded DA paid for by George Soros to implement his worldview of criminal justice reform. 40% of the nation's murders occur in districts uh, that are represented by George Soros funded DAs. Let's get some insight into what life is like inside those cities. Soledad Orsua, she's a public safety advocate in Los Angeles. Dave Galuch is running for Congress, representing Philadelphia. And Daquan Bruce, representing Chicago. He's the executive director of Concerned Communities for America. Super grateful for all you guys, what you're doing, standing up, making people aware of these George Soros funded DAs and, and hopefully uh, putting a stop to it. Uh, Soledad, uh, representing Los Angeles, tell us about George Gascon. What are uh, some of the worst things he's done in his reign so far? And I think the biggest news is that the people of LA County, where we have 10 million residents, they have actually submitted over 700,000 signatures to recall him. So just over the past two years, we have seen crime spiral and it's rampant. We have a huge problem with the surging murder rate and gunshot violence and victims. And that is a very big problem for Los Angeles that wants to host upcoming major uh, events like the Olympics. So we're seeing that our tourists are being attacked, especially you'll see videos going viral in West Hollywood where tourists are being targeted because they're wearing expensive jewelry like Rolexes. Um, the thieves just see them as easy targets. And then also we're starting to get smash and grabs and the reason that crime is just spiraling is because the criminals have more rights than we do in California. They face no repercussions. In California, you can now steal under up to $950 without it being a felony. So it's just an invitation for our criminals to come and take advantage of our lax criminal system and justice system. And you know, you just you're seeing it everywhere, but the the line that they keep telling us, this big lie that they keep repeating, is that crime is actually down. That's not true at all. In fact, what has happened is reported crime is down because now residents are so overwhelmed that we're not gonna call when a car is being broken into, the police will never respond. And we also, under the direction of George Soros, we downgraded many felonies to misdemeanors, which are literally unenforceable. It's just a slap on the wrist. You can't you know, add them That's, up. It's, yeah, that is so, Bold and insane that these DAs, they think they can get away with that. Uh, our DA up in San Francisco did the same thing. He said, uh, crime is down. It's like, well, of course it's down if people aren't reporting crimes, like you said. And also, if they're not prosecuting crimes, of course the numbers are going to go down. It's ridiculous that anyone would fall for that. Hopefully people don't. Let's go to Dave Galucci. He's, he's running for Congress in uh, Philadelphia. Dave, uh, how bad is your DA? And do you have any examples of how soft they've been on crime? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having us on. So our DA, Larry Krasner, has been in office since 2018. Uh, every year he has been in office, we have set a record for shootings and a record for homicides. So in 2019, there was more than in 2018 and so on and so on. We're on pace for 3,000 shootings this year in Philadelphia, yet the chance of being charged with a crime if you commit a shooting and the probability of being convicted of murder if you commit a homicide is the lowest that it's ever been. You know, in Philadelphia, it's so bad. We have a, we have a culture of law breaking. Uh, we have a, an environment of lawlessness that's so bad that unfortunately a 73-year-old man was beat to death with a traffic cone last week by, by a, a group of, of young individuals. You know, it's not uncommon for you to see someone who had been charged with a crime three, four, five times commit a carjacking and on the sixth time kill someone and you find that this person had been possessing and, you know, a gun that they shouldn't have had because they were a convicted felon the four times the police had brought them in before, but D.A. Krasner refuses to charge them. And, you know, there's an unbelievable quote from, from his office that says, we do not believe that charging people for possessing guns that they shouldn't have is a viable strategy to reduce shootings. Uh, I'm, I'm just not sure in what universe that that is that that comports with common sense. I don't think anyone would say that. And it's unfortunate that the people who are bearing the brunt of this this huge explosion in violence are are our are, are most vulnerable people, the very people that folks like D.A. Krasner says that he wants to protect. Those are the ones whose communities are being destroyed and their neighborhoods are being destroyed by this violence and culture of law. That's the most that's the most important point of all. Uh, Daquan, Daquan Bruce representing Chicago. Who's your DA? How bad? So our DA, uh, nicknamed the Rogue Prosecutor, Kim Fox, has been in office since 2016. And you know, since taking office, uh, crime has only continued to soar in the city of Chicago, rising this year more than 34% across the city alone. Uh, Kim Fox has a history of 
you know, kind of needing to sort out her own business before really dealing with the people of, of Chicago. Um, numerous calls for domestic violence disputes um, and, and things like this. You know, the people of the city don't have any confidence in her or in her ability to lead. Um, you know, under her leadership, there have been a record number of, of uh, escapes and, and um, felons who evade court. Um, who are not being prosecuted or tried, um, you know, for the crime they committed or for evasion as well. Um, you know, Kim Fox is just honestly, you know, one of the few many politicians, that's which is why we call the rogue, uh, rogue prosecutor, who are, you know, soft on crime postures are putting the people, you know, who are the most vulnerable, the law abiding citizens at risk. Hey, Static Crusaders, there is unfortunately one man who is incredibly influential in your life and he has a worldview that is completely contrary and antithetical to yours it is george soros oh i heard george soros's name a decade ago and i brushed it all off i didn't understand it i couldn't connect the dots well the dots have been connected right we see the fruit of what george soros has done all these years when it comes to uh, da's in cities across the country also what he's doing now with esg standards oh if you don't know what those are we talked to james Lindsay on our special it is available now on the first tv's app it's a free download please watch it and you can see what george soros has done to this country and how he influences your life and how we can stop him available now on the first tv app and you can download that at the first tv.com and at any app store